Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Let's talk about Tinder, shall we? Everybody's favorite topic, especially guys. Uh, I know what you're thinking. A lot of guys out there are pretty... Uh, Tinder's kind of a love-hate, very polarizing subject, but uh, let's tackle it, shall we? I'm not afraid of this kind of stuff. Saw a little post uh, recently detailing some statistics that just came out from Tinder themselves. Actually, they're actually pretty good about sending out some stats. Uh, this was... The early part of 2024, I think, the first quarter, I believe, is what it was. There, are, This app has been downloaded 400 million times. That's actually more than the population of the United States. This is worldwide. That's globally. 400 million times. That's a lot of people looking for love. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of folks. Well... It's also the most, uh, well, Tinder is also the most popular app from ages 18 to 34. A lot of reasons for that. I think it's mainly just because it's the most, it's the most known. It's the most easily accept, uh, accessible. And I definitely wanted to talk about a couple of the, of the details with this. And a lot of guys... They kind of get a little bit butthurt about this kind of stuff, and it's it's a very popular subject for the red pill people, and it's showing or detailing how bad women are. They're incredibly selective with their partners. Well, news at eleven, fellas. Uh, that's it, that's the way it's always been. Okay, women have always been picky about who they spend their time with, who they start a relationship with. That's just kind of how it is. All right. Well, dating apps kind of took that to another level. I would agree with that, but. They're here to stay. They're not. They're not going anywhere. Okay. So let's talk about it. Let's let's try to figure this out, shall we? So let's talk about the ratios of swiping right, swiping left. Women get matched on Tinder. This is we're just talking Tinder. They get matched ten percent of the time, or ten percent of their swipes. They match with ten percent of those folks. Those those guys. Men, on the other hand match with 0.6%. <laughs> All right, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why people get a little upset of when it comes to the dating apps where guys particularly get very frustrated because whenever they swipe right on somebody that they never get matches. And women, on the other hand, get frustrated because they're completely inundated with choices. Right? So it's it's... It's a tough thing to comprehend, especially for people like me, Gen X people. I haven't dated in 20 years, but I, t I talk to a lot of people in coaching that have been divorced. They're out in the dating world again. They want to know how this stuff works, what to do, the best way to meet people. And dating apps are here to stay, folks. That's just the way it is. And in my opinion, dating apps are actually a good thing if you use them as a supplement to cold approach, people that you know, friends, family, that kind of thing, the traditional way of meeting people is not out the window, okay? You can still meet people that way. But using dating apps as a supplement, totally good with that. That's, that's, a, that's a good, that is, that is a good way to navigate this really world, a really weird world of dating that we have now, all right? It's not a conspiracy. Tinder's not a conspiracy against men. That's not how it is, all right? Because of this fact, the stat that really, really uh, got my attention when they released these stats is 75% of the users on Tinder are male. 75%, three quarters of the users on Tinder are male. 25% of them, obviously, are female because that makes up the rest of the, the group. Well, that's going to skew choice towards women. Okay, now if it was a 50-50 thing, I think the, the, the stats would be a little bit less skewed. I still think it's going to be skewed towards women because ultimately women do have the choice of who they sleep with, okay? That's that's the way it is. That's nature, you know? Um, men shoot their shot. Women accept it or not. That's that's it, okay? That rhymed. 
great. Really interesting stats. Dating apps are here to stay. I mean, there's there's a lot of popular ones out there. I'm just I'm just talking about Tinder just because they did release some of the stats. There's Bumble, Hinge, OkCupid, uh, eHarmony, Match.com, Plenty of Fish. All of these things. There's a, there's a lot of there's a lot of apps out there to choose from. I've actually heard good things of about all of them. Not necessarily Tinder. Tinder has a tendency to be just a hookup app, which is why it's so popular from age. 18 to 32 or 34, right? That age group is probably just looking for casual, good times, most likely. Not exactly looking for marriage material on Tinder. Okay, um, so let's just let's just get that straight. All right, um, Tinder's more of a hookup app. There's other ones out there. Okay, Cupid have heard really good things about that with uh, with the divorce guys that I've talked to um, and women actually with that. That as a matter of fact, and. Way back when, when my wife and I got married, Match.com was just coming out. So the, the online dating thing was, was just coming out when we got married. And one of our very, very good friends actually met her husband on Match.com. And it was funny because at their wedding reception, they actually made fun of that. <laughs> and they, they, they were joking about it because at the time, it was new and people, it was, it was kind of frowned upon to meet people online. Okay, but now... It is what it is, and uh, it should be used as a supplement, in my opinion, okay? Uh, and they're still married to this day, by the way, um, almost 20 years. Great relationship. They get, they're they really good people. Got a couple of kids, and I love them to death. Uh, I love both of them to death, okay, if you're listening, all right? Well, anyway, that's, that's that, okay? Dating apps are here to stay. Uh, accept it. Move on. Uh, you can use them if you want. It's not a necessary thing, but if you use it as a supplement, all good. I think it's a good thing. So if you like this material, please like, share, and subscribe. Fairly new channel here, just trying to get the word out. I'm here to stay. And I've been doing this about six months, but uh, I've been doing private podcasting for a couple of years. Really could use the help. Thank you very much. And until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.